What is going on LEGO Investors? So today we're going to talk about a new set that's coming out that I absolutely do not like. I think this set is ugly. I do not think it will do well in retirement. All the previous sets before it have not done well and it comes from a very very bad theme in my opinion. So now I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on these types of sets. Do you invest in them? Have you made money from them? I, I just I struggle to see how this theme will make you money and especially this set. I think this set was a big mistake and I'm not sure why Lego keeps making these types of sets. So comment your opinions down below. It definitely helped the channel and helped the community. But let's dive into it. Today we're talking about Dancing Groot. So first off, it is way too expensive for how many pieces you get. Yes, I understand he moves, but I'm I'm not sure what Lego keeps why Lego keeps thinking of adding animatronics into them and raising the price so much and thinking people are gonna buy it. Just like the talking turd, I mean the talking hat, that set just is not selling at all. If that did not have the animatronic portion, the talking bit with it, that set would be awesome. It would go along nicely with Hedwig and Fox at a reasonable price. And this set this set is a twenty dollar set, but Honestly, it's so ugly. I think they did Groot terrible. I, I, I'm not sure who designed this. I really, truly do not like the design of this Groot. I think right here, you know, I, like I've said in some of my other videos, some sets you just cannot make in Lego form, and this one isn't doing it. Like on the box here, yeah, looks okay, but with the leaves and everything, I, I just think it's so ugly. And they are trying to milk Groot, the, the cuteness factor, just like Baby Yoda. And it's just not working. And I think we're starting to get cuteness fatigue. But in the end, people just don't want to pay for overpriced sets. This is going to be 100% a clearance set. This set, I guarantee, is not going to sell. In stores, these are not going to sell, just like the two other sets. So let's take a look at what's currently out with Groot right now so we've got the potted Groot brickheads which isn't that bad it doesn't look too terrible I'm, I'm not a big fan of the design but it's still got a little bit of cuteness and then we've got the I am Groot and this set just did not sell at all and then they doubled down and thought oh Venom tends to do well on everything so let's throw some Venom on them and this set hasn't been selling so we've got two of these sets that haven't been selling, and this is going to be a third Groot set that will not sell. I think the potential to make money is maybe with the Brickheads, but I, most likely it will come down to the Venomized Groot because it's just a little unique. But overall, I think they're just pushing it. I, the, I'm not sure the logic behind it. This hat, are they really earning millions of dollars by doing this, like doubling down on bad sets and trying to create more sets that I just don't think will sell. Yeah, maybe they might sell online a little bit, but in-store, I mean, in-store is a big, big factor that people do not realize. The stores are getting frustrated because they're always having to offer clearances. They're, ha they're frustrated dealing with, you know, the stealing of Lego, everything about it. I, I've spoken to some managers and they just kind of hate the Lego section. And that's why a lot of them, a lot of the stores want the glass. But ultimately, I had somebody tell me just they're tired of having to mark down sets, move them to the clearance aisle. They always get asked questions about it. It's just not worth it for them. But online, you know, I, I, I only deal locally. I do not sell online. So maybe they're just, these things are flying off the shelves online. But in store, I can assure you these are not selling. I've checked so many Targets and so many Walmarts. They just are in stock consistently. But now let's talk about the overall theme. Marvel has not been doing well at all. Pretty much all the Marvel sets do not sell. They pretty much go on clearance. There really has not been awesome Marvel sets. There, there's been a few. Maybe you could say the Daily Bugle. You know, the old Helicarrier. But overall, they're always going on clearance. So Marvel is a very, very bad theme to invest in. I typically always say there's one theme where it's like one or two sets you might be able to invest in to make money. I just don't see that with Marvel. I think it's too much of a gamble. And I'm not sure whether that's because just the base fans have disappeared because of the mo movies where there's just so much controversy around them and nobody's watching them. Or it just, just comes down to money. I think it's more of probably the fan base just, just doesn't want anything to do with Marvel anymore. 
But I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on that. Uh, how do you feel about Marvel? Do you think it's because of the political, you know, because the movies have been sucking? Or is it a different factor? Is it just the economy, do you think? But yeah, out of these four, I'm probably leaning towards the Venomized Groot, depending on if it is going to be in stock for four years or if it sells or go or goes out of stock and retires. But there's potential with that. But the the brickheads, there might be potential, but I would I would not be surprised if this was out a minimum two years, and it's just not strong enough to earn some money. And then you throw in the ugly dancing Groot. I I think this is going to be. I wouldn't be surprised if this set hits like fifteen dollars. I I just think I see this having so much inventory in stock. I am definitely going to avoid it. I think if you buy it at twenty dollars, I think you're going to struggle to sell it. If you are buying, I would love to hear why, your thoughts on it, what's your buy price. I really want to know that because maybe I'm just being being a little rough on the Marvel theme and Groot. Groot is a phenomenal character. You know, Baby Groot has got that adorable factor, but just the sets just have not been doing well. And I think this is a great example of just bad design, overpricing, and I think we're going to see this one sit on the shelf. So really quick, let's take a look at just the Venom or the Groot sets. Obviously, we kind of looked at them all. We've got the magazine gift that's got a value of $5.36. And then we've got the two Brickheads, which is the Groot and Rocket. Now this one, I if they came out with this right now, this would be a great set to invest in. I think there would be money potential, but not a whole ton of sets. They're just all the sets just have been pretty bad except for the the dual brickhead set here and let's take a look at just the group minifigure see how Groot has done so we've got ba- group baby 1190 group baby again sixteen dollars twelve cents teen Groot seven dollars fifty one Groot four dollars and thirty six cents and then Groot again three dollars sixty two and then two ninety nine which I would expect the shoulder pad Groot to have be a little bit more and then we got Baby Groot in his little outfit for $13.94. So overall, a great price structure for the minifigures. The minifigures are doing a lot higher than I really anticipated. It's pretty impressive. I, I really would have thought the Groot minifigs probably would have been about a $1.99. So that's a great sign. But ultimately, it does not change my opinion on the dancing Groot. I, th- I really think Lego should not include the animatronic factor of it and it should have been a $20 set so I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions comment down below I appreciate you and hope you have a great and wonderful Friday and hope you have a great weekend but as always please do your own research have some fun make some money video is not financial advice any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice Do your own research before making any financial investments.